leading up to it, we knew that uh, we had uh, two meetings and at the last uh, president's meeting, via Zoom obviously, um, we said that we were going to wait till June the 16th, wait. Mm -hmm. So what happened was in that time, which was going to be about a, well, it was about three weeks. Of, yeah, about about two to three weeks from the last meeting. In that time, I got together with the um, with our committee finally because restrictions had eased a little bit. So we got together, and I laid it all out on the table. And basically, the committee had decided that it's a bit of a no brainer mm. that we would like to send a letter to the league. That was meant to be tabled on the Tuesday night meeting to say that our intentions, really, what we can see as a football club, taking in all into account the health issue, like health aspects, financial aspects, volunteers, players, everything that's going on in our community, being such a small town, mm. that the risk to the reward was too great. So... We sent that early to the executive officer, not to the president, not to – so our secretary, Marion, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. to their secretary, to the league. Right. Private. Right. Confidential mm -hmm. email with a letter. Right. And was this last week? Last week. Right. I get a phone call Friday afternoon mm. from a guy. I don't, can't even remember his name because – but once he started talking, I was, I practically, I get enraged. Really. I was going to say, you saw red? Yeah. So this poor bastard <laughs> rang me and said, uh, I'm from uh, ABC Horsham. I said, oh, thinking to myself, maybe he, because we get sometimes some um, questions about the Conniver farm because yep. that's in the district. Yep. I'm thinking, oh. Trucks or transport or, you know, the big quads, something along them lines, mm. the carrots, you know, mm. the farm and this and that. He goes, because um, obviously that wouldn't be on my radar about footy. No. He goes, um, I, I just um, would like to ask you a few questions around your the Romva Football Club's um, stance on um, pulling out of the 2020 season. I said, well, I said, um, I said oh, hang on a second. Um, where did you get that information? And he said he he wouldn't um, he wouldn't say. Mm. Obviously, he said, "I'm just wondering, is it true?" I said, "Hang on a second, I'm going to tell you something. At the moment, right at the minute, I'm a little bit peed off because that's confidential between our club and the league. So I'm not really happy about what's going on here. So I'm just trying to process all the whole thing." So then he asked me again, is it true? I said, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to tell you no comment and basically beep, beep, off and hung up. Were you privy to this conversation, Sarah? No, no, I wasn't. Probably a good thing. Yeah. So because at that point in time the league had just lost all my trust mm. because we hadn't, as a committee, we had decided to write the letter. We gave them, uh, the league enough respect to table it at the Tuesday night meeting. We hadn't informed our players, hadn't informed our um, our spectators, um, all our supporters, sorry, all our sponsors, all that sort of thing. Mm. How does that going to look on us, information getting leaked out like that? When it, we never had any intention. We had it always to address our our the club mm. and the people mm. after Tuesday night because whatever decision the league made, then we can counteract it with a announcement that what we would like to do, okay, and let everyone else know. 